Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on both Arrow Season 5 and Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. Now, hear me clearly. Three days. I repeat, three days until we get the flashback on our screens, which then obviously means that we have only four days until Arrow is back on our screens for Season 5. Which is then followed a few days later with the returns of both Supergirl and then Legends of Tomorrow in that same week after Episode 2 of Arrow. So, that's a bit of a math equation, but yeah, that's how it is. Over the past day or so, we got some promo pics for the second episodes of the new seasons for both Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. We're going to go over them, as well as the descriptions for both of those episodes, and break it all down. Before we do that though, if you want to leave a like on the video, it'd be very much appreciated. Leave any comments for both of the shows, what are you looking forward to in both of these episodes, and subscribe if you are new. Let's start with Arrow. So the second episode of Arrow Season 5 is entitled The Recruits, and the description goes as follows. Oliver's new recruits for Team Arrow are Curtis, Wild Dog, and Evelyn Sharp. Unfortunately, the Green Arrow's training methods proved to be too much for some of them to handle. Meanwhile, in the flashbacks, Oliver's initiation into the Bratva continues. As you will see on screen, these are the promo pics regarding the new Team Arrow. In regards to the description, we see that the Green Arrow's training methods prove to be too much for some of them to handle. This isn't surprising that Ollie is being extremely harsh on these new recruits, as he really doesn't want them going by the promos and trailers for Season 5. He is essentially like almost forced into doing it. I think Wild Dog may be the recruit that struggles the most, not necessarily physically, but mentally. I think mentally he might be a bit weak. We also have a quick mention of the Bratva flashbacks, which I am extremely excited for, and one of the things I'm looking forward to most in Season 5. We also have some promo pics of Ollie as mayor. I hope they do put focus on this, and it isn't just a side story that is just chucked in to please fans. Hopefully they actually go through the political side of the Green Arrow character properly. Now let's move on to Legends of Tomorrow now, who, like Arrow, have some promo pics and a description for their second episode which is entitled, get ready for it, Hype Levels High, okay, Justice Society of America. And the description for this second episode goes as follows. The legends travel to Nazi-occupied Paris, but find themselves surrounded by the Justice Society of America, aka the JSA. The legends discover a time aberration that threatens the JSA, but the JSA wants nothing to do with them or their help. Nevertheless, the legends force their way into the JSA's mission to intercept and seize a mysterious package. Nate is desperate to prove that he should be part of the team, but he has a secret that he shares with his grandfather, Commander Steele, that might make it difficult. Ray is so focused on impressing the JSA, he puts himself and Vixen in danger. Meanwhile, Stein has stepped in as the leader with Rip gone, but when decisions aren't being made, Sarah seems to be the one calling the shots. So that was one hell of a description, I felt like I was just reading a short story. Let's now go over the promo pics and relate them back to the description to explain some things. The first picture to go over is of Dr. Midnight and Vixen. Before anyone asks about why Vixen is a different actress than the one we saw on Arrow in Season 4, the version of Vixen on Legends of Tomorrow is actually an ancestor of the version of Vixen we saw on Arrow. So she has the same totem and powers and stuff like that. Also, before we go ahead, with the suits they are wearing, they look really basic as they are set in the 1940s. That's where the Justice Society is. So that's why everything may look a bit retro and a bit bleak, if you know what I mean. Next up, we have a good look at both Stargirl and Obsidian. I do like the way that Stargirl looks. But an interesting thing about Obsidian is that his father is Alan Scott, otherwise known as the first Green Lantern. So we may get a version of the Green Lantern on TV this season, which would be sick. Even if it's only for one episode or just a flashback, it'd be pretty damn cool to see it happen. We get some pictures of the legends in 1940s attire with Ray and Martin Stein, as well as Mick Rory or Heatwave and the new addition, Nate Haywood win the comics is Citizen Steel. Now this person here is Commander Steel, or Nate's grandfather. Obviously in that description we heard that there's a secret that Nate reveals to his grandfather, which could be a big thing this season and sort of like a mysterious thing behind Nate's history. We get another shot of both Commander Steel and Vixen, as well as a shot of Sarah in her 1940s clothing. This is a really cool shot here. We have the legends walking into the Justice Society of America's headquarters, which we then see here and this is just 
awesome. If you remember when Smallville did the JSA, this is like bringing back memories of that and I just remember watching that episode when I was younger and just freaking out. I am expecting a lot of DC Easter eggs to be spread out throughout this room and the rest of the other rooms in the headquarters. We then get a shot of our man who we met in last season's finale for a brief period. And we finish off the pictures with a cherry on top, and that is of the entire Justice Society all grouped up. Almost looking like they are about to, or are in the middle of, giving a lecture to the Legends. The description does mention that Rip is not with them. Now when the season begins, the Legends will be scattered throughout time. So it looks like all the Legends are found, but Rip is somewhere hard to find, or possibly impossible to find. But thanks for watching guys, leave your opinions in the comment section below for both shows. What party are you looking forward to most from Arrow, and which party are you looking forward to most from Legends of Tomorrow? Out of the two of these episodes, I'm really looking forward to the Legends of Tomorrow episode. Just the fact that the JSA is included in this season is just awesome. And hopefully we get some more JSA members popping up later down the season, like a Doctor Fate or something like that. But yeah, leave your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later guys. Goodbye.